When the first sign of intelligent life visits us, it won't be a giant UFO hovering over New York City. It will most likely be an alien civilization's trash. Avi Loeb, professor of science at Harvard University, believes he's already found some of that garbage. In his upcoming book, The First Sign of Intelligent Life Beyond Earth, he lays out a compelling case for why an object that recently wandered into our solar system was not just another rock, but actually a piece of alien technology. The interstellar object traveled towards our solar system from the direction of Vega, a nearby star which is 25 light years away. The object intercepted our solar system's orbital plane on September 6, 2017. The object was first spotted by an observatory in Hawaii containing the Panoramic Survey Telescope. This was the highest definition telescope on Earth. The space object was named Oumuamua, which is the Hawaiian word for scout. As space travelers go, it was relatively small at just about 100 yards long, but it was a big deal in the scientific community. For starters, it was the first interstellar object ever detected inside our solar system. Judging from the object's trajectory, astronomers concluded it was not bound by the sun's gravity, which suggested it was just traveling through. Before we continue further, be sure to subscribe to our channel, that way you won't miss any of our weekly videos. No crisp photos could be taken, but astronomers were able to train their telescopes on the object for 11 days, collecting other useful data. At first, scientists thought it was an ordinary comet. But Loeb said that assumption ran the risk of allowing the familiar to define what we might discover. What would happen if a caveman saw a cell phone? The caveman has seen rocks all his life, so he would think it's just a shiny rock. Loeb soon opened his mind to another possibility, it was not a comet, but discarded tech from an alien civilization. A number of unusual properties about the object helped Loeb make this conclusion. First was the object's dimensions. Astronomers looked at the way the object reflected sunlight. Its brightness varied tenfold every eight hours, suggesting that was the amount of time it took for it to complete a full rotation. Scientists concluded the object was at least five to ten times longer than it was wide, sort of like the shape of a cigar. No naturally occurring space body we've ever seen has looked like that. This would make its geometry more extreme, at least a few times in aspect ratio, than the most extreme asteroids or comets that we have ever seen. What's more, the object was unusually bright. It was at least 10 times more reflective than typical solar system asteroids or comets. So it might have been made from shiny metal. But the anomaly that really pushed Loeb toward his alien hypothesis was the way it moved. Using physics, scientists can calculate the exact path an object can take and what speed it should travel due to the gravitational force exerted by the sun. The sun's pull will speed up an object massively as it gets closer, then kick it out the other side, only for the object to slow considerably as it gets farther away. But the object didn't follow this calculated trajectory. In fact, the object accelerated slightly, but to a highly statistically significant extent, as it moved away from the sun. In other words, it was clearly being pushed by a force besides the sun's gravity. At first the explanation seemed simple. Comets show a similar acceleration, because as they approach the sun, their surface is warmed, releasing once frozen gases, which act like a rocket engine. Those released materials then form a comet's distinctive tail. Scientists looked carefully for that tail or any sign of gases that might propel a muamua, but they didn't find anything. Loeb calculated that with these and other anomalies, the chances that the object was some random comet was around one in a quadrillion, leading him to his blockbuster hypothesis. But what was it exactly? One possibility, weirdly enough, could be found in technology we already have here on Earth. Some 400 years ago, an astronomer observed comet tails blowing and wondered what if that same force could propel rocket ships through space, like the way wind pushes boats through water. It was a smart idea that scientists now use to develop light sails for probes. Thin reflective sheeting is unfurled in space to capture the particles streaming off the sun, propelling a ship at great speeds through the empty void. Alternatively, powerful lasers from Earth could be aimed at the sail to make it go even faster. Loeb, who is involved in a light sail project to send a tiny, 
unmanned craft to a nearby star, said if we have thought of this idea, then why couldn't the aliens? He and a colleague crunched the numbers and hypothesized that the object was not actually cigar-shaped, but possibly a disc less than a millimeter thick, with sail-like proportions that would account for its unusual acceleration as it moved away from the sun. As to its purpose, Loeb isn't entirely sure. He speculated it could be space junk that once served as a kind of space navigation used by an ancient civilization. The only way to look for alien civilizations is to look for their trash. Of course, not everyone in the scientific community agrees with his theory. In July 2019, the official team published an article concluding that they find no compelling evidence to favor an alien explanation for the interstellar object. Loeb admits his theories have raised astronomers' eyebrows, but he is resolute about his findings. Loeb said the skeptics are trying hard to assign natural origins to the object and that the explanations they've given to explain its weird properties don't stand up to scrutiny. Some scientists have suggested that the Muumuu's acceleration was caused by frozen hydrogen on its surface, turning to gas and driving it like a comet, and that hydrogen would have been invisible to Earth's infrared cameras, which is why we didn't detect it. But Loeb published a paper showing that a hydrogen iceberg traveling through interstellar space would evaporate long before it reached our solar system. Some people do not want to discuss the possibility that there are other civilizations out there. They believe we are special and unique. Whatever the truth is, the stakes are high. The acceptance that an alien race has made contact even through its trash would trigger a serious search for more trash, leading us to scout the Moon and Mars for debris that might have crash-landed millions of years ago. And if more evidence is found, humanity would have to start building tools to help us grapple with the extraterrestrials. But, any further discoveries could redefine our place in the universe. Since Oumuamua's appearance, a second interstellar object known as 2I Borisov was spotted entering the solar system in 2019. But that turned out to be a plain old comet. Our instruments have not been sensitive enough to pick up these kinds of visitors. But Loeb said technology will soon make it possible to locate more space travelers, and the only way the mystery of Oumuamua will be settled is if a similar object is spotted and properly investigated with a probe.